Hi, Carlos. I hope uh, you and the family are well. Um, we'll start with quick turnaround. So do you have any fresh injury concerns off the back of the win over Derby? No, uh, fortunately, every all the players that were playing against Derby are available to, to play the next round. Of course, plus some of the players that weren't involved in that game. But we are not going to miss any player for any injury reasons. Good to hear. Um, in terms of the league, Preston, Sheffield United, Fulham all to come. We saw changes in the last round against Burnley. Can we expect similar ones? I'm thinking Jordan Rhodes started and he came on against Derby and scored. Can we expect to see Jordan start? And we've got Josh Ruffles and John Russell all played in the last round. I think, like always I say, we have a big big squad for me with many options. And the most important thing for me is to make the best decision or the best selection to be the more competitive team that we can be game by game. So now, every time we are going to play one game, I have in my mind just to put in the piece the players that I think are going to be the more competitive one that I guess was. And now we analyze our situation and we will try to make the best decision that we can. Like always I do in any, in any type of game that we are playing, because for me the values of every game is or the target in every game is the same one. That is to put or select the more competitive team that I understand that we can do to, to be the more competitive team that we can be. You were, uh, just, just lastly on that, you changed your goalkeeper in the last round and Jamal's obviously been training with the club before he signed. Do, do you feel he's maybe ready for his debut? The idea is that he, he complete well the training today. He will play tomorrow. Cool. Um, what what does Carlos come into? You've you've been here a while now. What does the FA Cup mean to you? What does it represent? It means a lot, uh, a lot. First of all, because it's a uh, one competition uh, very special here in in the country, and for us as a club, we talked before in the previous press conference on the of the cup that hundred years ago, Huddersfield had the opportunity to win that competition. It means. Uh, not only how important the competition is, it means how important is the club that I represent in this country. So for us always, uh, to keep going in the cup is a, a big opportunity. In our, in our minds, there are an, the only target to keep going in the cup, knowing that we are going to, are going to play against one team, that the dynamic of the, in the league is not, is not the best one or not the ideal dynamic. And then we have in the cup another opportunity to change the feeling of this season. So... Huddersfield and Barley will play one game where both teams are going to have the full desire to keep going the competition in the next round because for everything it's important competition but it's true that for Huddersfield this year uh, with the 100 years ago that our club uh, won that competition with the name of the TC in some of the players that were or the players that won that competition I think made that game even more special. Does it as well playing we we asked people about this does it play into your mind that as we get into the later stages you could draw a, a big side a Liverpool and Manchester United does that ever approach your mind a, a real challenge that would be for your side oh for me the real challenge of this competition is to beat Basley this is now the the the, the only the only challenge that we have before was another one uh, in the previous game but now our, our full focus is to find tomorrow the best team, the best selection, and after to show in the pitch the best attacking and defensive behaviors that allow us to have the opportunity to keep growing in that competition that is, of course, the dream and the, the desire that all of, us, all of us we have. How important is it if we return to the league form just to keep that momentum going to take back into the league if you win tomorrow? I think always there are relations between when you are playing both competitions, there are the, for me relations in terms of the aspect that you need to, to compete against. Uh, the, the confidence, I don't know, if you are more thinking about the, the confidence, of course, the confidence is important to face any type of game, but uh, it's important keep going in the, in the gap. For me, we held the team in, in the league and make a good result, uh, results, of course, in the, in the league and help us to, to believe in our, in our possibilities or our level of confidence in the things that we are doing. But I, I think at the same time, there are two different competitions 
and we need to be able to to give our hundred percent in both in the different scenarios that we are playing tomorrow in the cup, previous against derby, and after finish the cup in the next game of the league. So for me, be professional means to be full concentrated in the game that you have in front of you, and just knowing that all the competitions have something in common that you need to give your hundred percent to to win any type of game, and this has to be our target tomorrow. Despite the good league campaign, Carlos, an impressive league campaign, your side has in some games been looked at as the underdogs despite having a good season. But tomorrow's game, you're arguably going to be favourites. Does that change the mentality at all of you and the side? No, for me, we never... How the things are watching from outside, uh, from our out of our perspective are things that we cannot control. I only can tell you the only way how we face any type of game is being full focus on us, knowing which behaviors uh, the opponent is going to do because these type of behaviors are going to create one dynamic, specific dynamic of every game. Like I always say, some things are more fast in the transition. You need to be careful. Some things attack more directly. Some things they attack more short. So it's important to know which type of scenario we are going to play and always trying to reuse this scenario into create a scenario that we want to, to create this the high challenge in football, to be able to make one game, uh, playing one game, how you want to play that game. So for us, it uh, doesn't change another thing. Uh, when we play against one team, it's the same that we play against another team because we are watching just the scenario that, we, that the opponent team is going to try to create. Is going to try to create the scenario that we need to be adapted. To, to face and at the same time trying always to show our style in the football pitch. The, the other things for me are just opinions that we cannot control, some type of speculation that for me are not inside of our, in our minds or are not part of our job. If we, if we return just briefly to Derby as well, they obviously had that man sent off very, very early and they made it difficult for your side, but it was a performance that showed your side aren't giving up this season. They kept going and, and got those goals. That that must be satisfying. I think, like I say, after the year, sometimes the, the fact that you are playing with one player more can create one level of expectation that can increase the level of frustration during the game. And this is something that is important to manage because sometimes you are not going to score immediately they lose one player or sometimes you are not going to create the volume of chances that you will expect to create. To create. And for me, you need to be, you need to adapt well to the new needs that the game uh, demand after you are playing one player more. In some of the moments for me, the, during the first half, for me, the team was adapting well. And we have, of course, the ball in offensive half. We conceded only one counter-attack, but the team was creating enough opportunities to score the goal. It's true that in the second half, from the minute 45 to the minute 65, uh, the team didn't find enough well the, the way to create the chances. We, of course, were dominating the ball, but without creating the chance, with some losing of the ball that we should have uh, prevent. Fortunately, this losing of the ball didn't create any counter-attack, but didn't allow the team to create the volume of attack that would help us, uh, uh, the volume of attack, that, of attack that always help you to create more chances. But it's true that uh, in the minutes previous to the goal and after we scored the goal, uh, we could continue growing in the game. And for me, more than creating many chances, we were managing well the game to stop any possibility of derby and to don't put in any moment in the second half the result of risk. One player I'd, I didn't ask you at the start, actually, is, uh, is Tino. How, how's he? He wasn't in the squad for Derby. Is he, is he OK? Is he in contention to be involved tomorrow? Uh, sorry, which player? Tino Andurin from uh, the Chelsea Leone. Yeah, yeah, like I say in the press in the previous press conference, he is now working in Chelsea because he's working with the Chelsea medical medical staff. He will be around two weeks working with them, and after two weeks that we are talking more or less, uh, I don't know, in the maybe day around 15 to 20 of February, he will come to start to training with us and to integrate with the group. But still, everything is going to depend about how he progress in the last step of his injury that he's doing right now or from his recovery that he's doing right now with the medical staff of Chelsea. Well, 
Um, last one from me, Carlos. Barnsley, obviously, they're having a very difficult league campaign this season. They gave you a difficult game when when you went down to Elkwell the other month. It's uh, We kind of say in this country, form goes out the window in the FA Cup. It will be still a tough test tomorrow, won't it? This is the only game that I can expect. Uh, one game between two teams, two championship teams. Always is going to mean one challenge game. And like I say, for me, Barley is, a, is going to be a challenge because, of course, they have in the cup competition the opportunity to, to change a little bit the feeling that they have in the league. And like you say, in the league, we only could get a, a point. It means that tomorrow game is going to demand from us the best competitive level that we have to, that we can show in one football pitch. Bro, thanks, Carlos. Good luck for tomorrow. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Thanks, Louis. Uh, Dave Hartrick. Hi, Carlos. Hope you're well. Um, just to go back to Derby briefly, just another play. It, it, obviously, you could hear and, and feel the atmosphere in the ground when Jordan Rhodes scored. Not only is that an important goal, I expect he's absolutely buzzing now, isn't he? I think uh, sometimes I understand that uh, for the for the strikers it's important to score the goals, and when he's uh, Rhodes has been playing so many with the team, but it's true that he didn't play enough minutes. In, in the same game, that for me allow any type of player to make the impact that they can do. It's not the same for one striker to play one day 70 minutes or 80 minutes, that to play eight times 10 minutes, because the options in each, in these eight times are going to be for me less or more difficult to, to achieve the performance that the, the, any player wants to, to achieve. Now, I think after the, the first months where he had a, an injury in the back that don't allow him to play or to training, now he has come back to the group and we understand that he's going to be an important option from now, from, from his recovery to the, to the club and an important part of the player to, to be a competitive team this second part of the season. Um, also in that game, second half, Carol Lighting made a, a big impact. He took a little, little while to get her back up to speed, but how good is it to be able to bring Carol Lighting into a game like that for you? First of all, we bring it in because we know that he's a special player and he can bring something that from, we understand that is necessary to have in the, in the football pitch. If we add uh, to his skills the fact that he's one player more, uh, always is important to, to have more possibilities to face any type, of, any type of game, or maybe from the first eleven or sometimes from the bench, but the, the, the better player we have involved in one game, the more option we are going to have to dominate this type of games. And after the injury of Vallejo, for us, it's important to find one player that can play as a number six and as a number eight. For me, with Vallejo, we have one player that can play more as a number six, and 18 is one number eight who can play as a number six, but who can play as a number eight or even higher in the pitch. This year, he was playing as a left back in Belgium, something that I don't consider, but it means that every player that have enough skills, can adapt to different positions. And this is only what we have in 18, one more player, for me, with the level to be first 11 player, that or he can be a starting player or from the bench is one player that, of course, is going to help us. Excellent. Um, last season, the Plymouth game, it, it basically you had to play a sort of B-team 11. This year, going into a game like this, you don't have to rotate quite as much, but it must be nice to have a squad now where you can help after a busy period and give some players a little bit of rest going into a game like this. I think the last year on the competition was totally different because I remember that game arrived uh, after we were having a very, very, very demanding, demanding periods of, of games. And it was the, if I, if I tell you well, and I know Ron, I think it was the, the first or the second game of January. I think and after we had the opportunity to to with this game with this game to make some recovery and face the competition with a very young group of players, but at the same time with one group of players that they were playing, or some of them were involved in many of the games that we were playing. Uh, this year for me the competition was different. That's why we were playing with first team players in the first game against Barley, and we will play tomorrow with first team players too. The only important thing is to see 
which players arrive in best in the best conditions to can be the more competitive team that we can be tomorrow. And for me, this is something that we do not only with this cup competition game, we do with every single game to see which players arrive mentally and physically in the best conditions to can be the best team that we can be. And we are going to face this competition with all the first team players that we have in our squad. So we are not going to use any of the B team players. Uh, for two reasons, the B team players that we were watching that they were closer to the first team, we were understanding to make the, the step of the loan to continue growing in the, the develop of every player that we have in our club. We keep another group of players in the B team younger than the ones that we did the, the loans. And some of these players, it's true that they are close to the first team, but they will be more involved in the training to continue the growing of them that nowadays immediately in the games. And we will face tomorrow again with one squad full of first team players. Um, the draw away at Barnsley a few weeks ago, was a, it, it was a tough game. It was a tough game. What are you expecting from Barnsley tomorrow? They may mix it up a bit with their first 11 as well. Yes, I think they have changed. They have changed some of the players that were playing with us in the in the game that we play, in the draw that we achieved, now are not playing. And some of the players that, of course, some of the players that didn't play that game now are playing. It means that they are more than rotated. I will tell you, they are looking for the best possibilities in, in the games. They have changed the, the save. When we were playing against them, they were playing 3 4 3. Nowadays, they are playing more 3 5 2. But it's true that during this process, from we play with them until now, they were playing even with Lanon 4. So we expect that tomorrow, I cannot predict the set that they will play tomorrow. I cannot predict the players that they will use tomorrow. The only thing that we can control and be focused is the, our mentality to face tomorrow game with the best level of desire and with the best preparation that we can have to be, like I always say, a, a competitive team. Excellent. Last one from me. Uh, fifth in the league, going into the fifth round of the FA Cup, you're on this really good unbeaten run. Do you feel like you're currently a little bit ahead of schedule or were you always expecting to be going this well coming into the new year? Uh, to be over expectation or under expectation, you need first to create expectations. I didn't create any single expectation. I have a full confidence in the squad that we create in the, in the summer. To this squad, we were analyzing the needs, the missing of the players, and we find for me replacement for some of the missing of the players to be even the more competitive, the more competitive squad that we can that we can have. Uh, and now my only expectation is to to create behaviors in the team that allow us to to face the games with a lot of confidence and with possibilities. Of course, the confidence and the possibilities are going to depend on our of the work that we are going to do day by day and how we face mentally the games that we are playing. And this is my only expectation to see one Huddersfield with, the, with a lot of spirit, with a lot of competitive spirit, with a lot of desire to show what we are able to do in the pitch. In some moments we will see, in some moments or with football challenge and don't allow you to show what you want to, to see after in the pitch. But our only expectation is to show that spirit in the football pitch. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Good luck for tomorrow. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dave. Leon Wobshaw, thanks for your patience. Thank you, David. Uh, good morning, Carlos. Good morning, Leon. Hi. I was just wondering, your team are now unbeaten in over 10 games. It's a very good run. It's, it becomes something almost um, special and really important, doesn't it? I think it's important when it's the consequence, of course, of the fact that we are doing the things uh, well. Because for me, we always try to make the results the consequence of our good performances. Sometimes you achieve good results with not the best performances, and sometimes you achieve bad results with a good performances. Yeah. But we think that the best way to get results that this is our job is to be full focus in how we perform in attack, how we perform in defense. And this is exactly what is in our mind. Keep growing as a team because there are many aspects that we can do better. Keep doing the things that we are doing well because there are many aspects that for me the team is managing very well. And try to use 
every single train and every single game to keep growing as a team because the more we grow, the more competitive team we will be. You've you spoken about the FA Cup and obviously 100 years ago, what happened for Huddersfield Town. How important for you is it to know about the club's history and, you know, do the research on it and, um, you know, know, know a club's history? It's something that, you know, you, you clearly have done. I think it's very important because it tells you how big is the, the, the job and the club where you are working. It says you to how many people you are going to represent. And at the same time, knowing very well uh, the history of the club, uh, of course, told you about how important is the work that we do and how many people are going to be affected by our job. So this is only the only increase the motivation in the things that we are doing. Uh, we want club won the competition 100 years ago, say you a lot about how big is the place where we are working and how much respect we need to show. And the best way to give the highest level of respect is to give in our best, not only in this cup, not only tomorrow, every single day, because it's a pleasure for us and a, a proud to come be represented one, one club like Huddersfield. And finally, I was just going to ask you about Barnsley. How surprised have you been that they've really struggled this season? Obviously, last season, they had an outstanding year. It's true that they were doing, for me, a fantastic year. The, the, the last season, they, they were competing really well. That's why they achieved the, the playoff. But it's true that in football, the, the, that's why I told you that for me, in football, the previous, the previous game is just past. So imagine the previous year. So we just passed and in football, the challenge always is to be adapted to the next one and to be focused in the next game that we are going to, that we are going to play. I think, uh, of course, Barley now are fight, uh, they are fighting for different situations. Something that can happen in football is not the first time that you can see this type of scenarios. Yeah. You need that football always challenge you. In football, what you achieve is just part of the history. What will happen in the future, we cannot control. The only important thing is being focused in the games that we have in front of us. Okay. Thank you, Carlos. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks, Leon. Chris Docks, good morning. Morning, Dave. Hiya, Carlos. Um, just a quick one. You mentioned about the history then to Leon and the fact that you know the history of the club. Have you passed that on to the players, the importance of what happened 100 years ago and the history of this, this football club? No, I, I don't think they need to. They need that I give the information to them because all of them they know because, of course, all of them, when they are right, think they know uh, that this club was in the Premier League uh, three years ago, that they promote from the Championship, they promote from the League One, and they were being an important year, an important, very, very important team in the, in the highest level of the competition in England on the football uh, some years ago. And for me, everyone, we know how big is the club where we are working, for the one that we are working and we are involved. So all of them know any type of information about the club that I can give to them. It's funny how it's worked this year that you and Barnsley are the last Yorkshire teams left in the FA Cup. So you're not just representing the town, you're representing the county as well. It's true. I, I wasn't thinking on this. So it's true that maybe for, for the people, but it's true that the people that have, I think, feelings of group of teams, football is specific about one own team. So the important thing, I, I know that our only focus will, make to, will be to make any Huddersfield Town proud of the, of the behaviors of the team tomorrow in the pitch and to the fact that we keep going the competition is our target to make all our fans uh, proud. Where do you rank the FA Cup in your priorities? Maybe at the start of the season, but has that improved the more it goes on, the further you get in the competition? <sighs> For me, being honest, my priority is to, to be the more competitive team that we can be game by game without be thinking a lot. If it's a league, if it's a league against one team that is in the high part of the table, if it's a team that is in the middle part of the table, if it's a team that is in the low, low part of the table, if it's a champ if a, against a Premier League team or, champ or Championship team or League One team because you are playing different competition. From we start this year, the official competition start that year playing the cup uh, against Sefi Wednesday 
and I give to the tomorrow game the same level of importance. One game, but it's true that the Cup have one different with the league games. That tomorrow, one more time will be all or nothing. If we are not able to show tomorrow our best, we could we could have another opportunity to keep going in the cup. And it means that this fact needs to allow us to play the competition with the highest level of focus and concentration in the in the game that we are playing. Because as soon as you don't perform well, you are not going to have another opportunity to keep growing in the cup. Good luck, Carlos. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Thanks, Chris. David Anderson, thanks for your patience, finally. Well, thank you. Uh, Carlos, we're speaking a lot here about 1922, you know, the, the centenary of the club's only FA Cup. When, is that the sort of thing, though, that you can draw extra motivation from, extra inspiration from, like, you know, hey, look, you know, look at this club's done in the past. This is a great club. They, do, they can achieve things. I think every, every high achievement is an inspiration. The, not only in football, if you are watching another, uh, even another sports, for me, the people that achieve things and that and things that to achieve something for me, I don't think I don't think that the things that when you achieve something important is a is a coincidence. I think the highest achievements are a consequence of of a good dynamics, of a good performances, of a good mentalities in the back. And we like to to use the the highest achievements in football of course, to be inspired by the, the behaviors that are in the back of the things. Of course, when Huddersfield Town won that competition, uh, it's true that like it's 100 years ago, we couldn't see uh, these players of the level of, of, of that football, because it's true that in the last year is when the media have changed a lot, or when the visual images have changed a lot, and you can be uh, more inspired with the closer facts to you because you are going to have more visual contact with these facts. But for me, just the fact that our club won the competition immediately bring you the feeling that you are in a very, very important and special uh, place who was part of the history or who is part of the history of this special country. And we know that in this country, football is something, I told you, special, no country because England is, is a big country of course, but in the special way, how in England, uh, football is part of the uh, of the people. So for us to to represent one club with this level of of pass, with the level of history, just really create you this level of motivation that you say to us. Sometimes it's easy to be inspired by the closer facts that we are watching, but it's important to be motivated and to feel proud of the T-shirt that we have for the club and for the club that we represent. And then just following on from that lastly, um, the fact that you're able to, to go and beat Burnley in the last round, you're a Premier League team, a team that's been in the Premier League for six years, how much encouragement and confidence did you take from that as well? I think we always uh, increase our confidence when we perform well in the games. In the previous round uh, cup game, for me, many, especially in the second half, for me, the team was performing really well. And we were able to change uh, one result at the start to be negative at the beginning of the game. But it's true that I like a lot the, the, the performing of the, of the team. Uh, I like a lot how people was playing. I like a lot how Sar, Tom Lee, and Matty Pierce were performing in that game. I like a lot the, the, the minutes of Ruffles. In the middle of the pitch, we recovered in that game, Hoggy, after the injury, and Russell was the first time that he was in the first 11 of the team, and for me, he did a, a very good performance. I think that game was the first step of Josh Coroma in, a, in an improvement in this. In, I, I think from that game, I am watching a better profile of, or a better version of, of Josh Coroma too. Uh, Sinani was playing that game, and I remember Rhodes, he was helping a lot of the team, making a lot of work for the team in the first half and after the contribution from the player of the contribution of the player from the bench was very high. I remember that we bring from the bench uh, Solva Thomas, O'Brien, Danny Ward, Holmes, a player that they will help in a, a lot of the team to, to achieve. Even the fact that uh, Nick, who now is on loan, 
uh, was playing as a keeper the majority part of the minutes because by the injury of the reason was the injury of Scofield. And I think that when this group of players achieve a good performance, of course, this performance helped this group of players to keep growing. And for me, this is what happened to the group, uh, to, to the team. Because at the end, we need to grow every level of every play that we have, because every one of the players that are part now of the first team squad are going to be very important from the end of the season. To, to achieve the target that we have, that is to be the more competitive team game by game. Carlos, thank you very much. Good luck. Thank you so much.